What has now been done is that the first major step in human cloning has been achieved. Oregon scientists announced May 15th that they have successfully converted human skin cells into embryonic stem cells. Catholic leaders say the technique is morally troubling. Scientists took a lot of women's eggs, took the nucleus out of that egg and replaced it with the full genetic makeup of another person taken from an ordinary body cell and then stimulated that new cell to develop as a human embryo. They only developed these embryos for seven days and then destroyed them for their stem cells. So there's a moral issue right there, creating new embryonic humans in the laboratory just to destroy them for stem cells for research. The researchers say their goal is to produce genetically matched stem cells for research and possible therapies. But Cardinal Sean O'Malley, who heads the U.S. Bishop's Committee on Pro-Life Activities, says the same goals can be achieved by scientific advances that do not pose these grave moral wrongs. If this human cloning experimentation is the answer, what was the question? Uh, it, it cannot do anything new except hasten the day to cloned babies, which most people agree is a bad idea. Research using adult stem cells, or those derived after someone is born, as opposed to cells from embryos, has provided promising possibilities for treating some illnesses or injuries. The reprogrammed stem cells can be used to replace damaged cells. The further moral problem is one that this makes possible, though these researchers didn't do it yet, and that is taking that embryo that is at the usual stage where embryos implant in their mother's wombs and trying to make a cloned, live-born child. Nobody's done that yet. The day when that will be happening is brought closer by this technical advance in getting embryos to survive this long and, and develop. And that raises all kinds of issues about treating human beings as products even after birth. That is saying, I want the Albert Einstein baby. I want the Marilyn Monroe baby. I want the gal just exactly like the gal that married dear old dad. And it's not only the Catholic Church that's saying this, it's not only the Catholic Church that's concerned, but uh, some of the voices that were raised back in the 90s when this was only possible uh, need to be raised again now that it's coming forward and very real.